Hey everybody, this is Gun Girl 79. This is my first official video. I wanted to go ahead and do a review over the Ava in the waistband holster made by Looper Brand Leather. Um, it's part of the pinup collection designed by Lisa Looper. Um, she also designed the Flashbang holster, which has also been on NCIS, which I also have as well that I carry with my LC9. Um, safety check, no magazine, nothing in the chamber. Uh, this holster, I did a lot of research on a lot of different in the waistband before I purchased this, or actually I got this for my birthday. Uh, I went in and actually tried it on just to make sure that it was something that I would like. Um, it's very comfortable. It has sturdy clips. It almost reminds me of the uh, Super Tuck uh, in the waistband holster. Of course, it has the Kydex along with the leather. Um, I like it because you can adjust up to nine different cants to wear whichever is comfortable, however you carry. You can also wear it as an appendix carry if you prefer that versus strong side or... Um, in the, you know, almost towards the back. I like it because of the soft suede. And of course, you know, it's the purple, so it's fashionable also. And I just like it because it's, it's smaller than what other holsters I've seen out there that I've looked at. Um, most of the other holsters are made for guys basically and not for women. And Lisa Looper that designs these, of course, she designs it for women. Um, that makes it a little bit more comfortable for us. And I'm actually doing this one handed with my phone camera. Let me see if I can slide this back. Just give me a second. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put my gun in the holster. And of course, as you can see, it fits very snugly. And I like it because you're able to draw pretty well. I mean, if you're wearing it, you can like you can see basically you can grab the the grip pretty good. I mean, you can slide your thumb right here if you really needed to just to get that real good secure firing grip. Um, it's easy to draw. So that's one thing I like about it. And of course, if you're wearing a belt, under the clips, like I said, it, it'll pretty much cause a little bit more retention. That way it holds the gun a little bit sturdier. So you like right now, it kind of can basically slide out. Um, but of course, I'm not wearing it. So uh, it's, it's a really good sturdy holster. I mean, to be honest, when I'm wearing it, because of it molding around um, my hip, it really does get a little bit more, uh, more retention on it. I've also actually, let me see if I can do this test one handed. I can actually hold it upside down basically. And it doesn't fall out. Let me do it this way. Oh, oh I guess it did. Um, usually it usually wouldn't fall out, but of course, I can always heat the Kydex up with like a hair dryer or with some type of heat to pretty much mold it a little bit more around the gun to give it a, a tighter retention. Um, it, I wore it around the house. I've worn it while driving. Um, I really haven't noticed any discomfort by wearing it. Um, especially with driving, I was a little bit leery because I figured it would be in the way of my seatbelt or it would just, you know, dig into me or the gun would dig in. And I really, really honestly didn't have any problems with driving with it, which I know a lot of people say on some of their in the waistband holsters, they basically just don't work well when you're trying to drive. Um, I've worn it out in public. It's very concealable. I'm, I just basically wear just jeans and a t-shirt, um, nothing really too dressy. Um, it's very hard to tell when I have it on 
it's not bulky. It actually holds the gun close to the body, which I really like. Um, and it doesn't make you sweat. It, it doesn't do anything like that. Um, I've worn it all day. I've worn it over the weekend. I've worn it just sitting around watching TV. Um, I mean, I've pretty much tried out, you know, every, every scenario, um, bending, sitting, um, walking, obviously, um, haven't tried jumping, which of course, I guess if you get into a situation where you have to really run fast or jump or something, I haven't tried that scenario, but, but other than that, it's, it's a very comfortable holster. And like I said, it's made by Looper leather brand law enforcement. They make a lot of different, um, products for law enforcement, holsters, uh, leather belts, um, ankle holsters, that type of thing. So, um, it's a very trusted brand. They've been around for a long, long time. And Lisa does an awesome job. Anytime she designs a new holster or something on the women's line for the pinup collection, I'm really excited to see what she's, what she's trying to offer and, and if it would work for me. And like I said, I've owned the uh, flashbang holster, which is awesome. And like I said, I did a lot of research before I just went out and bought it. Um, it's reasonably priced for the Ava for the in waistband holster. I just didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on something that I wouldn't be happy with or that's made for a guy or just, that just wouldn't work for me. But so far, this holster is awesome. I never leave home without it. I actually wear this one more now than I do my flashbang. But I do plan on getting another flashbang for um, my revolver um, that I plan on getting also. So that way, I can have that option as well. It just depends on what I wear and you know where I'm going and that type of thing. Uh, well, that's my review of the Ava in the waistband holster made by Looper leather brand law enforcement. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to message me or leave a video comment or response. And thanks.